Welcome to another episode of A Cup of Coffee and Mike Diana America. <laughs> okay, I really didn't plan this well enough. Uh, it was supposed to be like super good sun, but <clears throat> it was a little bit late. Because mm. today I went to my local favorite bookshop. A little uh, book in and I got this Live Die by Mike Diana. Uh, if you guys don't know who Mike Diana is, then I suggest you go straight to YouTube and watch the trailer for the, his uh, documentary called uh, Boiled Angels The Trial of Mike Diana, and it's about how. He was the first in American history to be put in jail for his comics. That's right. He was put in jail for drawing comics and releasing them as his fan scene. This is my first uh, Mike Diana comics that I've purchased. Um, you can order directly from Mike Diana's website. I will put it in the link below. This one is sold out, I think, from uh, his website, but uh, the little book was uh, uh, lucky enough to get a copy of this. I think it might be uh, closing to be out of print. Uh, we're gonna open this and look a little bit in it, but before we do that, I just wanna say, check out the tra trailer for the, his documentary, Boiled Angels, which is the name of the comics that he released as fan scenes. Only 60 copies were made of each issue, and there were eight issues uh, totally given out. And if I'm uh, not mistaken, issue number seven was the one that got him put in jail for obscenity. And uh, he was also a suspect in, uh, in a triple murder case of some students that got killed because the police meant that, well, since this guy is making these crazy comics, then he might, uh, he has to be the guy who's behind this madness, which is ridiculous, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, you can see the documentary already on Amazon Prime, I think it was. I will link it below here in the description, and I will link his website, and also he posts a lot of weird, funny shit on Instagram, check him out there really nice guy and I've talked with him on Instagram and of course since we are both artists of the perverse I've sent him my Ken the Chicken this is the English edition originally published by Café Van Siene in Norwegian my mother tongue but this is the English edition I have one edition left of the Limiken edition with the print but this is the standard edition so and there's the Meat Man comics coming out soon, Detective Man. But yeah, get Ken the Chicken on my website and some issues left of uh, Volume 1, Second Print, and Volume 2, Second Print. So hopefully someday I will be put in jail for my artwork just as Mike Diana. To sum up best, I will read what's on the side here. Uh, it's like... Some words by, uh, I don't know how to say his name right, both of their names, right? It's Ivan Mekel, I think, and Neil Gaiman, who we all know from Sandman. <gasps> of course, one of my favorite comics as a kid as well. Okay, uh, this sums it up pretty good, what Neil Gaiman says. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike Diana's work is powerful, upsetting, offensive, and sometimes unpleasant. Uh, his art style is simple, primal and dangerous, like EC Comics retold for today by Gary Panther. But there's an honesty to Mike's work that has always made me want to read it, even when it disturbs me. Already here I'm really intrigued. Art should afflict the comfortable and disturb the complacent. I don't know if I said that right. And Mike Diana's work does that in spades. He's been arrested for his art, he's been sentenced for his art, and a local police force was even charged to make 24-hour random raids and spot checks on Mike's living space to make sure he wasn't committing art in secret. Now you can find out what all the fuss was about. 
that's Neil Gaiman's forward on this uh, uh, America release and it, it's like divided in two with live and die a little bit disappointed that it's not a small edition of live and then a large edition of die but then again if we all live till we're old then this is longer than the times we die but when we die it's forever suffering is forever as Dark Tron says speaking of uh, pretty extreme artists uh, me and Mike here you should also check out my, one of my favorite t-shirts by Lard Humongous I will link him below as well I did a video about him I think yeah I did go check in the other episodes I'm not sure if it is I will link it right up in this one of these corners to that episode because Lard Humongous is one of my favorites as well okay uh, there's another forward here as well, uh, but I'm gonna not gonna read it because uh, Neil Gaiman pretty much summed it up. But this one, I'm gonna post this on my Instagram. So go to my Instagram and I will post some photos uh, of this release and also show you a little bit on the inside and you can read what it says on the side there. Okay, people, are you ready for the unboxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always keep these, by the way, so I hope it's printed on the sleeve. I hate it when you buy a record and they have like cool reviews or like this album, blah, 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 something. And then when you open it, then it disappears. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can open this without fucking it all up. Oh yeah, there you go. Da, 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 da. Just like a vagina. Oh, already there, I have to put some warning on the video. Um, the cool thing when you buy from your local bookshops or comic book sh shops is that you don't have to pay for the shipping which is pretty expensive when you get stuff from the US of A so getting this shipped right to my door or more or less and have a cup of coffee at the little book boutique in. if you see the previous episode this one this one then you can see me and uh, Karin Park and Chetlin Anders from Orabot when they pick out their three favorite books from the little book they're taking. And uh, yeah, get a cup of coffee as you get some good books. Okay. That's a fucking rad photo of him on the front there as well. Dude, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> Feels like I'm doing something illegal. <laughs> it's a really, really great photo of Mike here on the back. This is the Live edition. You can start with that. And Mike Diana Live. That's the cover with the red spine and then the beautiful uh, photo on the back there. And as you can see it's pretty thick. It's actually, let's see if we can cheat here, 398 pages in this little sweetheart. And then the die uh, edition with the blue spine also with a photo I think this is Mike now which makes pretty much sense for young Mike old Mike red Mike we love you Mike this is the die <laughs> with the shotgun blast to the head it does some pretty sick paintings this is the dream I have releasing my comics in such a fine edition holy shit this is pretty brutal the stuff that I see here. It can't be right this... Okay. I thought I saw some hand numbered stuff there, but it's not. And this is made in... This is 127 pages. So you get a pretty thick fucking uh, package of books with this. Uh, I love it how it's... I think it's whips and lube on the table there are whips and lube okay let's give a look a little bit look in this I don't want to reveal too much because I would rather have you buy it I'm gonna post some of my favorite pages uh, in the on my Instagram post and on Friday which is when you're watching this today um, I do a Instagram live stream and at one o'clock UTC plus one and then I'm gonna do a painting uh, as a homage to Mike Diana maybe do a portrait of him or something you can watch that uh, either live or when I post it on the IGTV 
on my Instagram, which is in the link below. But if you see this uh, and you're up early watching this, then you can see me on Instagram when I do this live drawing inspired by the man himself. Okay, we can show because he, he released these comics also, which is called Eight Ball Comics. This is not, uh, it, I think it's some stuff from Eight Ball Comics. Yes, I'm in a park and there's voices behind me, but this was the most secluded area I could find. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I can show. Uh, this is pretty innocent though. So you get a little feel of what it is. That's not a dick actually. It's actually some drops. Um, I think he's taking some acid or something. <laughs> uh, oh my god. He also made the cover for Iron Monkey, one of the albums that I bought. I bought it strictly for the cover and that I knew that's Phil from Pantera. He had an Iron Monkey t-shirt once back in the 90s that I really liked. So here is some. I don't want to fold it too much so you get a little grip. I fucking love this style though. Very sexual, violent, perverted, satanic, weird, awesome. Woman every place played golf using men's cock and balls rather than golf balls. Oh, a little bit RT right there. <laughs> the sicker it is, the more I love it. So I'm gonna have a, a lot of fun. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. So if there's any publishers out there who wants to release my twisted comics like this, let me know. This was fucking amazing. Great job, Mike. We're gonna take a quick look at this. Uh, the Die uh, edition of uh, America. Why the title America? I don't know. Here's like more paintings and stuff like that. And I love how primitive and colorful it is. So I think I'm gonna do some painting stuff on Friday. I haven't decided yet. Because he does a lot of mixed uh, uh, mixed artwork. He does paintings, drawings, uh, inks. This is a little bit brutal but not too brutal I hope. Like this. You can freeze frame if you wanna see it better. <laughs> this. <laughs> I love the rawness of it. I can actually feel like I'm there having fun painting together with him. And there you have some drawings <laughs> of some kids around a bonfire. Uh, <laughs> fuck. There's so much I wish I could show you guys in this, but it's actually some of it is really brutal. But it inspires me to draw and paint more. This guy is fucking cool. Great job, Mike. Love it. Can't wait to get home and I think I have to make myself a new cup of coffee because this is fucking ice cold now. Mm. Um, I'll just quickly repeat uh, just what we did here. This is the America Mike Diana Live Die uh, from. Should have said that and start from. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's it's cool. <laughs> uh, I love it. Worth every penny. I'm gonna put them safely inside the box there, even though I'm gonna take a photo afterwards for Instagram. So, Mike Diana, one of the most awesome artists that I know about. His America Live Die box. Get it. Released by Divas. Divus. Divus. I don't know how to say it. And. Uh, Support your local bookstore. I go to the Little Book Butikin and Kems Kams who both sell my comics, Kem the Chicken. Available at kaffeefanzin.com, link in the description. And uh, if you buy one of my comics, you will also get a little doodle from me, of course. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next week. Um, yeah, read some comics, drink some coffee, and I don't know what else to say. Mm. Check out the other episodes. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.